the? Where am I? Welcome, Blockbuster Buster. Welcome to the final time in possession of your own body. Who the hell are you? Erod. Sway? Sway, is, is that you? Are you okay? I have woken up in weirder ways. Soon the eternal sleep is all you shall know. Now, my master, behold your new body. This form is acceptable. Acceptable? Asshole, I am a prize. You should be begging to possess me. He's trying to take over your body. Does it really matter what he thinks of it? Hey, I'm just saying, I don't keep in shape to be considered merely acceptable. It will take time for this body to begin decaying. Prepare. Whoa, did you guys see that? No, what happened? He glitched out for a second. It's like the glow on him flashed and distorted. Someone should adjust his antenna then. I have not fully stabilized. The Herald was not completely successful. What can I do for you? Your assistance is not required. The Herald's task was sufficient. I shall stabilize completely, given time. And the other humans, my master, what shall we do with them? They are no longer relevant. They can be dispatched, converted, or ignored. I know my vote may count for nil, but let's just stab and gut and kill. I suggest dissection. Advance, zombies! Do you guys need help? We were about to ask you that. No, I'm perfectly fine here. It's quite relaxing just laying on a slab. Guys, there are too many of them. We can't fight off this many. Back to the secret passage. We'll close it up behind us. Leaving now? Well, that's a shame. We had just begun this game. Bah, no matter. They've done their part and they can't get out. The end is near. Soon the entire world will hear your voice, Master. They will hear me. But then they will hear nothing ever again. Following us. Good, because there's not really any other place we can go. We can go back to the main hall. No, there was a shutter over the door we took to get down here. Nah, you can take the secret passage. What secret passage? The one that Linkara just texted us all about. What, 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 why didn't you tell us about this sooner? You guys seem kind of busy with Lovecraft. I was just checking my phone while you did your thing. For the love of- Okay, okay. It says on our side, the passageway should be on the staircase leading back up, a single brick that's sticking out... There! Okay, let's go through here and... Oh. What is it? I can't see. The secret passage collapsed. There's a huge pile of rocks blocking the way a few feet in. Can we clear it? Hmm... No, I think the tunnel is pretty thoroughly collapsed. So I'm in the clear for not telling you sooner, right? <sighs> Score one for Yomars! How are we gonna get out of here? Just give me a sec. I, look, I just told Linkara what happened. Hopefully he knows another passageway out of here. And if not? Then I guess we're gonna have to get used to acting like zombies and yelling out we hear you for the rest of our lives. Deaths? Unlives? Zombie terminology is weird. Are you doing a bit right now? Now, of all times! I am covering for my pants crapping terror with humor! We all deal with stress differently! Easy, guys. Easy. Linkara says to head back to the shutters. He thinks he has a way to get them open. Then let's go already! Linkara, you weren't kidding about that secret passage. Thank the minion. She has the map of all of them. Oh, well, thanks, minion. You are most welcome. We were lucky. Halfway down the passage, half the ceiling had collapsed. We were just barely able to squeeze through. Same thing happened with everyone else down below. Here, Luke, come help me with this. We think we have a way of getting the shutter up. Not really in the mood to help you right now, man. Dude, please! Ugh, fine. Okay, now grab hold of the same slat in the shutter as me. It should press inwards like a button. Is that it? Not exactly. We just have to wait for... For that. Okay. Now... Lift! Oh, 
this thing is so heavy! We're not gonna get him much higher! Go under it! Hurry! He's right! Go, people! Go! Okay! Last two! Go! But it'll be just you two holding it up! We'll handle it! Just move! Jeez. Just... What was that? Scarsdale's final way of sealing in the voice. The shutters need four people to open them, two on either side lifting from those specific spots. It's why we can't get the shutter on the front door open. And even then, they're so heavy that it takes a lot of work to do it. So we can just work on getting out of here, right? They're trapped down there. There are other ways in and out of that level. She's right. They've got the blockbuster buster down there, along with that killer doll thing you guys fought. I is he okay? For now, yeah, but they're planning on having the voice possess him. Right now, it's inside of Lovecraft. Then we have to get down there and help them. I can show you the passageways they likely would have taken to get down. Why the hell are we listening to anything you have to say? You're Hoggins toady. This could all be some kind of elaborate trap. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Look, yeah, she's stupidly sycophantic to Hagen, but that doesn't mean- Stupidly sycophantic? What is that supposed to mean? That you obey Hagen's every whim even though she's an evil dictator? She is perfection and glory. She wants to kill everyone! Genius is never understood. I'm just saying we shouldn't be going down there at all. Let's just get the hell out of here while we still can. For God's sake, man, we've got to stop this thing ourselves! And get ourselves killed?! That won't happen, man. Nothing can stand against us when my bestest buddy Luke and I are taking it on. Okay, that's enough! Dumb! We are not friends! Certainly not best friends! I don't like you, and I've made that pretty freaking clear! Dude, I saved your life back in the attic. Emma would have put a hole in your head. Maybe I wanted to get a hole in my head so I don't have to deal with you anymore! Look guys, we don't have time for this. We need to think of a way to fight the voice. Well, why don't you invite it to a party where it's in mortal peril? That's worked pretty great for you so far. <laughs> Quiet! Everyone quiet! Look at us! What the hell are we doing? Some of you I've known for years. Some of you I only just met. But friends or strangers, I see all of you arguing like this, and it breaks my heart. Linkara was right about one thing. We needed to unite again. We've all been through hell, stressed from our regular lives, screwed over by people we knew and trusted, or just what we've had to endure today and days just like this one. What are we even arguing with each other over? Blame? Oh, we can toss out accusations and point our fingers until they fall off and it won't get us anywhere. If it's something petty, well, in case you hadn't noticed, we've got something more important going on. We need to leave regrets and recriminations behind. We were brought into the site, and we thought that would make us better. But all the things we've done, everything we've accomplished, becoming friends, we did that ourselves. And through all the crap we've had to deal with, lies and hardships and disillusionment, we supported each other. Right now, we're on the edge of a cliff. We stumble, and it means the end of everything. But I feel a lot more confident about it because I'm with all of you. Because if one of us stumbles, the others will be there to catch us. I don't know if we're going to beat that thing down there. But if we go down today, we'll go down together. As someone fond of being alive, I vote for not falling at all. To hell with the past. To hell with fear. Let's save the world. I've been waiting all day to kick zombie ass. Let us be the morning sun to vanquish this horrible night. We shall save the mistress from herself. Let's shut that voice up. And that stupid doll while we're at it, too. Zombies, killer dolls, demons from another dimension, whatever. They haven't fought us before. I don't have anything inspiring to say. I just want to contribute. If you guys will let me, I'd be honored to fight by your side. My colleagues. My friends. Yeah, sure, why not? Good. Let's stop this thing. So, does anyone know how we're going to do that?
Minion, you were on the inside of this plot with Diamanda. I don't suppose you know a way of killing it. I'm afraid not. And if Scarsdale had thought of a way to kill it, he surely would have done so instead of just trapping it. Mike, they were building a body to house the voice, right? Yeah, that mad scientist said that if it possessed any old body, the power would be too great and the body would die, and then have to jump into another host. That means it's still essentially a creature made of sound. It's just housed inside someone else. Its nature hasn't changed. That's right! That maze had weird soundproofing everywhere! If it could just possess a body and walk out, it would have used that secret passage between the lab and the center! The maze was a lock to keep it in. Now it can escape. But they're right, it couldn't just escape out the maze because of the soundproofing even with a body. So anything that can affect sound can do things to it. Especially if, as you say, you interrupted Emma's screaming, and he's not stable yet. What are you thinking about, Linkara? I'm thinking we should go back to the computer room, because I have an idea. Okay, everyone, I'm here now. You can all shut up and get back to the apocalypse. Diamanda, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, that's right, you weren't around when it got revealed. Quick sum up. I've been secretly working with them this whole time. I want to destroy the world and kill everyone on it. Fuck the human race, blah, 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 blah. I welcome our audio overlord. <sighs> Great. More friends betraying us. Awesome. Oh, please, at least Linkara is a friend and cared enough to try to get you all together. I'm just the mistress of misery. Other people's, at least. I was only suggested doing it like this. And all of you are the idiots who said, Hey, a mysterious invitation to a haunted house with a vague promise of riches and fun! And never even questioned it. Just rub it in some more. Okay, you're all gonna die alone and unloved as a cosmic horror crushes your individuality and wears your body like a cheap suit. Speaking of the head honcho... The Herald has survived her encounter with the humans. It approaches now. Good, good. Am I gonna get to lead the zombies into battle? Combat is unnecessary. Once I am outside of this dwelling, I can echo across. You just glitched out there. Should we be downloading a new patch to fix that? The Herald's attempt to stabilize my form and harmonize me in a body was interrupted. Yeah, I know all about disappointing minions. Will she be able to finish the job once she gets here? It will not be necessary. Stabilization is still occurring, but slowly. It will be completed by the time this body has decayed and I am ready to transfer into this other form. My lord, how soon would you like to move out? Gather all remaining servants within this place here. Once the forces are rallied, the march will begin. All shall tremble upon hearing me. Those that do not surrender to my whisper shall be annihilated by my roar. Yeah, yeah, same old, same old. You're an instrument of destruction, tool of foul play. Well, I picked the boring side, didn't I? Nash, Paw, how's it going in here? Any luck? Well, that depends on your definition of luck. I mean, your plan is sound, Linkara. Heh, <laughs> foreshadowing. We, we just don't have a lot to work with here. Well, she found a recording of the voice's voice, I guess, and using this equipment, we were able to isolate its frequency, for lack of a better term. But most of our phones are dead or dying, so and we don't have reception to look up any new music, and the songs that people do have on their phones don't match what we're looking for. Damn. Is there any good news? Yes! Unfortunately! What? There's a single karaoke track that the party people had that had worked. But to achieve the full effect, that means people are going to need to sing it in the right ranges of the anti-frequency. Which means a lot of people are going to be vulnerable to attack while we do this. How's that going, anyway? Swade, Dom, and Luke are looking for the speakers that they were going to set up in the main hall for the karaoke while we were in separate groups. Everyone else is either studying the library for any other clues or ideas, or fashioning weapons to use against the zombies. Speaking of, what's up? Bad news. That's today in a nutshell. We've been studying blueprints of the maze and the magic incantation Scarsdale used in imprisoning the voice. Do you think we could replicate it, just seal it away forever again? Fortunately, no. The spells were crafted into the construction materials of the manor. We'd have to bulldoze the house and start over. The bigger issue is that there's one spell remaining. We assume the shutters were the last line of defense against the voice, but they're only part of it. It's a spell that detects whether the voice is still inside of that chamber. Scarsdale came up with one last trap to keep the voice from ever escaping. If the spell no longer detects it inside the chamber... The house is on top of a giant sinkhole. That's why it's in the middle of nowhere. 
possibly of the bottomless variety, if the magic holds. No voice, house go down the hole. And us along with it. Scarsdale didn't think the voice could die, so he never accounted for the possibility that someone could defeat it like we're trying to do. Are we talking instant drop, or do we have time to run around flailing and screaming before it all literally goes to hell? It's not particularly specific. Let's assume the best for now and that we have time to make an escape. Keep researching. Any information is helpful at this point. I'll go and look into whether we actually will have an escape possible for when this happens. I'll come with you. I have a thought about that. So, when Marsquill said we'd all go down together, she apparently meant that literally. How much booze are we talking about here? An entire bar's worth. Well, it's a nice idea and all, but a Molotov cocktail is just going to set the place on fire, not blow up the wall. Not necessarily. With enough alcohol vapors at a high enough proof, if focused properly, we should be able to explode it and blast a hole in the wall. Again, nice idea, but Erod and I tried our weapons on the wall. Didn't make a dent. <laughs> yes. You use magic on something that has spells in place to keep something mystical from escaping. <laughs> Well, of course, wine has a magic of its own. I don't think it's the same kind of play around here. Point taken. Is the alcohol even going to be strong enough? Not all of it, but a lot of this is pretty high proof. Plenty of whiskey. Should do the trick. And hopefully the spells won't block a regular explosion. We'll wait until the voice is dead before we try this, of course. But I figure we could bring some of this to the main hall and make some Molotovs, and save us some time later. There might be a problem with that idea. Get as much of this stuff to the main hall as you can. Maven will fill you in on why we might need to do it pretty quickly. Mars Girl and I will be behind you in a minute with another load. Right. Here you go, Maven. Thanks. We'll be back with a bag or a wheelbarrow or something. I feel like I should be personally apologizing to you in light of all this. I certainly won't stop you. I am so, so sorry about all this. This was just supposed to be something fun. A spooky little mystery until, surprise, it was just me and we get to have a good time and reconnect. Us being together was the good part of those anniversaries. I liked that part too. I love getting to see all my friends year after year. But it's hard to appreciate that sometimes when the person who brought you into it didn't respect you or trust you. I may have sucked at demonstrating it today, but Mars Girl, never assume I don't respect or trust you. You lied to us, Linkara. It's not how you respect or trust people. No, it is not. I failed you guys today. I thought I knew it was best for us all and all I did was hurt everyone. I had this bad habit of trying to act like the leader. Assuming that I'm in charge. Truth be told, you should be the one doing that. <laughs> nah, I'm no good at it. But you are. So many times during the last few years, you were the one to take charge, to keep things focused and sound. And when everything was falling apart a little while ago, you were the one who stepped up and brought us together. You should be leading us. Maybe the problem is we assume that there has to be a leader. What we really need is to just stand at each other's side. <laughs> I'll drink to that. Not with that bottle. That brandy's going to help put a hole in this damned house. Well, we found a bunch of knives and forks. I suppose we could make some crude spears with the clubs we've got so far. I mean, at some point we might as well just use the knives as knives. But I think we can use the knives as spoons. You are an odd, odd man, Yomars. I prefer to think of myself as an even, even man. Maven and Sean just got here with some bottles for Molotovs. I'll go get some for us. Thanks, Nella. I feel kind of bad about this. I mean, the zombies down there aren't really zombies. The voice is just controlling them. Seems kind of unfair to stab them and then set them on fire. To be fair, a lot of these are butter knives, so it's not like they're going to do much damage. Truly, we are an army to be reckoned with. At the very least, we'll have tried, guys. Like Mars Girl said, I wouldn't want anyone else at my side for this. It's a nice sentiment, but I kind of would. Maybe the army... Or some wizards or something? Fair enough. But I guess none of us asked to be here, which means we're all in this together. And at the end of the world, who could ask for anything more? Hey, Dom? Yeah? Look, dude, I have never, ever 
going to call you my best friend. I, I get that. But I will call you a friend. <laughs> Bring it here, buddy! Oh, I take it back! I take it all back! Come on now, best friends! No! Let's see. Ah! Okay, uh, this should do the trick. Think this plan will work? No, but at least we'll have secondhand embarrassment over it. Y your optimism is inspiring, man. Happy to be of service. Bargain boy. Yo! I've given this a lot of thought. A lot of deep pondering and whatnot. Given what a lot of thought? We've all been through a lot today. Me, obviously, more than others. And what you said earlier about being concerned about a lack of inclusion. After talking over with Jen, we've come to an important decision. Mostly you, admittedly. You are one of us. You are our friend. And as such, we award you the prestigious title of Honorary Team Marganar's Member. <gasps> okay. Anyway, see you later before we all die horribly. Bye. Bye. Oh. Was that secondhand embarrassment for you? <laughs> that was just fun. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't know what this means. It means you get to crowd around a laptop with us later and make fun of other YouTubers we don't like. Cool. Attention, everybody! We're almost ready to mount our attack. We've unfortunately learned a few things about what'll happen if this works, so we're gonna walk through the plan, and I expect to see all of you alive and well when this is all over. Hmm. I certainly hope you're not thinking you can escape the ropes, are you? The thought had crossed my mind. You would not get far. Every exit to this place is covered, and I have inspected these ropes many times. There are no weaknesses in them, and even with the power we sense in you, you cannot cut through them. Yeah, that does sound pretty bad. We're still gonna win, though. We shall see. And hey, at least you made sure to bind me with iron. What? No, it's just rope. Oh, is that right? Hmm. So, you're a doctor, eh? Yes, I am Dr. Albius Vivisen. Tell me, was your doctorate honorary? No, what? <laughs> because you seem too stupid to have earned it. You pathetic little- Restrain thing. yourself immediately. Ah, uh, uh, I am sorry, my master. I lost my temper. The human is attempting to force you into making some kind of error that will aid in its escape. It will not succeed. <laughs> I don't have to. I know my friends are going to be along any second now to stop you. Opposition is inevitable, as is its failure. As the honorary degree just said, we'll see. They will come and they will die or serve. There is no alternative. They will fail in their attempt. You will not escape. Your body will be mine. Threaten me with a good time, why don't you? There's the cavalry now. Hey! Assholes! Come down once more around the bend to be a witness to your world's end. Where's your boss, Cabbage Patch? Hear me. Huh. Gotta say, voice, you're not as impressive as I thought you'd be. Your evaluation is irrelevant. Well, that's a mean thing to say to a bunch of critics. Hey, Diamanda! Hey. Could you, like, not murder us all? It just seems like a butthole thing to do. Sorry, got to kill you and the entire world. Okay. Thanks for hearing me out, at least. The only thing you will all be hearing is the sound of oblivion. Hey, Dr. Vivison, what's the sound of a sword going through someone's face? I've never heard the sound Shh. because I'm eager to find out. No longer can escape your fate. Its power stands unfurled. The voice from the dark comes at last to end your puny world. Your end will come, it is that lofty goal. Your end is now, behold our guile and soul. Was... was that iambic pentameter? And while you're busy chiming, I will perfect my rhyming. Through practice and through priming, you're jealous of my timing. I, uh, uh, I don't...
Ah, the Herald has arrived! Do not fear them, Scout. Our master has the power to influence the living, bring life to unlife, and to defy death itself! So what? I'm in Ravenclaw. I don't know what that is. You'll have plenty of time to figure it out in hell. Your attempts to intimidate me are fruitless. You are armed with primitive weaponry, and your most powerful asset is within my possession. Yeah, funny story there. You really should have tied me up with iron. What? You can teleport? Yup, and you're about to see what else I can do. Hammer time. Damn right. Still mad at you, by the way. Still sorry about it, too. Want to take out your anger on these guys? Delighted to. Your position is irrelevant. Your bravado is irrelevant. You have achieved nothing but posturing. Yeah, but it has given our friends a chance to set up their equipment while you're distracted. How's it going, guys? Still gonna need a couple more minutes. Then what are we waiting for? Let's fight already! I offer one final chance to surrender to me. Obey me. Fear me. Hear me. Thrill me. are so useless, your body soon will fall! Yes, Chaos D1 told us you were pretty durable, but tell us, real doll, how do you feel about cocktails? Because this one's a bit spicy. Oh, it burns! It burns! It burns! It burns! What was that? Without your rhyming, I just really can't tell what you're saying. Hey, how are the Molotovs working for you guys and turn of the screw over there? Working good over here. Turn of the screw seems like an odd reference, since aside from it being gothy for months in a ghost story, it's not really the governess who was a ghost. I will rip your eyes out! Excuse me, I am trying to have a conversation here. So rude. No consideration for others at all. The dead are so uncivil. Yeah. Yeah, you could say that again. <laughs> Boy, these zombies do not want to go down. We need help over here. I think, yeah. I think everyone else is occupied. Wait, wait, mistress, you were just standing off to one side. Yes, because I expect to see a slaughter here, and instead it's just my side getting set on fire and people grappling with zombies. Deeply unsexy. Please, mistress, help us. How the fuck should I help you? Well, you decided to do this for shits and giggles. Why not help us for shits and giggles? Nah, is that a good enough answer for me? Gun! Here, mistress. Now that's more like it. This seems like a bad idea. Yes, because my glorious mistress is the baddest of them all. <gasps> Again, what are you doing? Betraying you, you boring git. I've seen rapture movies that are more interesting apocalypse is going on than this. But, but the voice, it's majesty and Power! How can you betray that? Who are you to defy its will? I'm Diamanda Hagen, you feckless dumbass. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Enough! With a single word, I undo your damage now! Is our master's power. We cannot be stopped by fire, sword, or steel. Oh yeah? Then how about by sound? Sound? Yep. Ever hear of noise-canceling headphones? I am not familiar with that object. Therefore, it is irrelevant. Oh, but it's very relevant. The idea is that they take a sound and put out a wave that's counter to the frequency and amplitude of that sound. So... Let's say there's a demon thing made entirely of sound, and someone found a recording of that sound. And then they found a song that naturally produced that anti-frequency. Plus, well, isn't it nice that you haven't stabilized yet? 
Paw, Nash. We're ready. Sean, get ready to blow shit up. Ready and willing. Eliminate them. Now, everyone else, hold them off. It's astounding. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. I remember doing the time war. Drinking those moments when the blackness would hit me and the void would be calling. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. With your hands on your hips. You're bringing these inside. But it's the pelvic cross that really drives you insane. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp again. It's so dreamy. Another dimension with voyeuristic intention. Well secluded, I see all. With a bit of the mind flip, you're into the time slip. And nothing will ever be the same. The space down on sensation. Like you're under sedation. Just a jump to the left. And then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. You're bringing me in his eye. But it's the pelvic cross that really drives you insane. Voices influence of just people again. Mind you, some of them were resurrected corpses, so they're going back to being that too. Did we seriously just defeat a big bad by singing karaoke? Hey, somebody help Lovecraft up! Uh, mm. You okay, man? I think I'm fine. Do you hear that? I don't hear anything. Exactly. I can't hear the voice anymore. Oh, oh, my head. What happened? You got taken by the zombies, but it looks like we fixed everything. You should all be okay. That's good to hear. Oh, oh by the way, uh, Mr. Leora, uh, you're not getting your deposit back. I figured as much. Thank God this is all over. Is this still alive? No. No, it isn't. It's just as the blueprint said, the... The house is collapsing. Right, everyone out of here. Move, move, move! Nurse your headaches later! Come on, come on, everyone else out first! Get something from 
open the shutters up, but they may not last for everything coming apart. There's a hole opening in the floor. Let's go. Let's go. I hope they were right about the alcohol explosion. Alcohol explosion? And why is this place falling apart? Long story short, Scarsdale hedged his bets, and hopefully we can bust the hole out of here. And it sounds like we did. Now come on, you guys. Ah! Rikara, hold on! The staircase is collapsing. You guys get out of here before you fall down too. But you'll die if we'll get you over here. And you'll die if you try to save me. Now go! No! We're not leaving without everybody. I won't let you sacrifice yourself for me. I'm letting go. Goodbye, my friends. It's been an honor. No! Erod, teleport! Way ahead of you. Ah, what the hell? I can teleport, you idiot, remember? Fuck sacrificing ourselves. We're all getting out of here. Well, then why the hell are we running up the collapsing stairs? Oh, just grab a hold of me, guys. Back in the main hall. Oh, still can't teleport outside. That's what that hole is for. Go, 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 come on, run like the house is falling down. For very obvious reasons. Oh, hey, there's the chandelier. Oh, oh, should we be running? Until we've lost a few pounds. Betraying us, okay? Oh, you Middle Earth rambler. Minion, return fire. At once, mistress. Allied retaliation! Ah! <laughs> not, to, not to bring down the mood or anything, but uh, how the hell are we supposed to get out of here? I took a cab out here and it's the middle of nowhere and we're just literally throwing mud at each other now. And I think our vans went down with the house. Ah! Well, fortunately, thanks to us finally being outside... Him away! A lot of people to bring up to Comicron 1! Hey, I was gonna hit up the swimming pool if anyone wants to join me. I'll be along in a minute. Mind if I come too? I suppose. Huzzah! Say, I'm curious. Are you actually Ravenclaw? Well, not really. I'm technically a houseless muggle. Now my associate Terence, he is in Ravenclaw. He's a real douchebag, though. Wait, wait, wait. You know Terence? Y yeah. Terence is the coolest dude in the world. I'd love to be best friends with him. <sighs> you did not have a swimming pool the last time we were here. Well, maybe if we all kept in contact with each other, I'd be updating you on these little upgrades. No, really? All I'm thinking about is how you could have held the party up here and saved like a ton of money doing this. Ah. Ah, what do I know? I'm just a guy with the word bargain in his name. I mean, God, it's not like I worked hard for everything here. Five years, down the drain, down the fucking... Men, you know what pictures are a corner of this ship. If we can duplicate this thing, we'll have a fleet of spaceships ready in a couple of years. My apologies, mistress, but my phone is out of power. I can't take any pictures. What? Hit your head against the bulkhead 20 times without failure. I... I would really prefer not to, mistress. Oh, is that so? Well, my response to that insubordination rests on a single question. Did you manage to copy all the erotic novels in Scarsdale's library into your phone before it got lost power? Oh, I did, mistress. Then all is forgiven. Screw spaceships, minion. There's a lot of screwing to be had.
Okay, 5% power should be just enough. To all who come to this spaceship owned by a comic book reviewer, welcome. I'm some jerk with a camera, and the battery died. Great, that's just awesome. No worries, man. Here, my actual camera's still working. Oh, thanks, dude. No problem, but there's a price. Crossover review. One of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Okay, but we need to film it while on the ride. Doesn't that mean we have to keep getting back in line to film takes over and over again? <laughs> oh, my dear Blockbuster Buster. Yes. Yes, it will. Hey, Linkara. Having a spa day up in here is nice, but some of us are starving, and we can't find the kitchen. Me want food or me mutiny and take this ship to a combination Pizza Hut and Taco Bell. I will lead you to it. It's not exactly the banquet I was planning for everyone, but it'll do. Careful. He's eaten all the celery already. Yo, Mars. This is my ship. There is always more celery for me to eat. Sean? You okay? You've been standing in place since we got here. It's all true. Nash, it's all true. And I'm on a spaceship. A spaceship in space! <clears throat> uh, dibs on any alcohol that we are not setting on fire. Okie dokie. Ryan! You want to do it all again? Why? Because I didn't get to actually kill any zombies. We beat them up, sure, but then they came all back to life. I cannot believe you are sad that we didn't get to kill people. Not people. Zombies. We didn't know they would turn back to normal. Well, I'm sure if you want to correct that, just head down to the swimming pool and tell that to Sally and the others. I wonder if we should apologize to them. Linkar is arranging them to get paid back for their lost equipment, at least on top of the insurance for it, so I think they're definitely getting one. I still want to fight some zombies. Fine, fine. Come along, man. I know Linkar's got a holodeck somewhere on this thing. We'll get you a zombie to kill. Yay! And what are you guys up to? Cosmic thoughts. Mostly to do with how cool we are to be on a spaceship. We are not, and we have never, been cool. Eh, speak for yourself. I am, and I'm speaking for you too. You're welcome. I can tell you that by the metrics of various logical and scientific fields that we are in fact 99% cooler simply by standing where we are now on this thing. Lotus Prince, you are now 34% cooler by standing as close to us as you are. I'm glad I can be so mathematically cool. What's that on the view screen? The manor, or rather the hole left by the manor. It's so dark. How deep does it go down? Don't know, but it can't be that much. It's not like drilling technology was all that great back when the house was built. But the guy did use magic in its construction, so... Who knows? You guys think we really did it? That we really killed the voice? Well, I mean, if we didn't, then the house collapsing at that point was a really bad design flaw. Though that does sound like sequel painting to me. Yeah, it's certainly possible, though. Who knows what singing off-key would have done to it. All I know is that if it is still alive then it's stuck down in that hole, right where it belongs. In the dark.
Oh my god! What? What is it? What? Linkara ate all the celery. That's why there wasn't any left. Yo, Mars. <laughs> 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 That's our Yo, Mars. <laughs> <laughs> all right.